You know what we're gonna talk about? I'm gonna learn you some something here. Okay. Africanized bees. Woo! What are you afraid of bees? You you got no. fears? No. DJ Edward Forty Hands. I ain't scared of no bees. I ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> That's right. I'm scared of bees. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> All scarbs. They're scarbs. <laughs> No, they're not. They're not bad. I mean, I guess they are bad. But uh, so, Africanized bees. You're wondering where did they come from? Why are they called Africanized bees? Well, that's what we're going to get into right now, right here on this show. So, Africanized bees. Really, I think they should be called something else, but we'll get into that. So, the East African lowland honeybee was first introduced in Brazil in 1956 in an effort to increase honey production. So, By the way, sorry. This yes. is this is in case I go to a party, right? Yeah. This is in case I go to a party. Yeah. So you can just be uh, having your beverage and just like, actually, did you know? Sorry, uh, I, <laughs> I was just like, wait, like this is in case I go to like a, a beekeepers kind of party. Yeah, apiary party. Sorry, didn't. didn't no, you're good. Me, just want to make sure. Interject w- whenever uh, you got. Something. This is our party knowledge segment. Okay, I was trying to do that smoothly, but <laughs> didn't I say? Did you not party say? Knowledge? Did, did he do it? Run that back. I thought I said party <laughs> knowledge. DJ, play it back. Here. No, we, <laughs> we, we, we went we went to Africa, and I was just like, okay. Oh, I thought I said party I knowledge derailed, somewhere. I derailed it, no, no, but I just good. wanted everybody to know, this is a segment that we just really quickly, we do this so that you have party knowledge for if you're ever at a, at a little get-together and you're talking about bees, then Luke's got you down. He's got you. That's right. He's got you. And you tell us whether I said it or not <laughs> before this point. I would love it. This is a conspiracy theory <laughs> conspiracy now. This is a conspiracy theory. theory now. We're going to have to go back. I feel really embarrassed for interrupting no. your flow. I'm sorry. No, because one, if I didn't say it and I thought I said it, then that's not like, that explains a lot of stuff in my regular life. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the bees, man. I'm going crazy. The bees. Anywho, anyhow, anywho, 56, 1956, lowland, lowland honeybee. So these pyramids. (laughs) (laughs) Tell that bitch to be cool. (laughs) Say, bitch, be cool. All right, be cool, be cool. So Dr. Warwick E. Kerr. Yeah. In, in, where are we at? Guys, this gonna, is a derailment. No, no, no. This is good. No, we're good. This is good. We're, getting, right. we're just getting sound effects over here. I'll that was actually really track. cool sounding. I'll get us. I'll get us back on track. Ready? Yeah. All right. This is party knowledge. Luke's going to talk about Africanized bees. Just in case you end up at a uh, at an ape ears uh, shindig. Yeah. We just flew down into Brazil, where the lowland honeybee was first introduced in 1956. Where do you? Where do they come from? You ask. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> Dr. Warwick Eker began nice. to interbreed subspecies of the Western honeybee, and he had chosen a selection of European honeybees to crossbreed with African honeybees. A. M. Scutellata. I don't know how. I, uh, that's the. That's the African honeybee. The Latin name. Yeah, la- Latino yeah. name. <laughs> <laughs> I. I had the whole other name on uh, the other computer, but I didn't sure. transfer it. That's so, okay. anywho. Yeah, so in an effort, they want to improve honey production in Brazil. Got it. Now so, I'm tracking. So the um, there was there's quality and traits from you know European honeybees that you know they produce more honey, but the African bees, um, there's I think usually more of them and stuff. So they have different traits that so you crossbreed them. You know, get more honey production in theory. Mm-hmm. But what happened? It didn't get when they did crossbreed. Yeah, there was kind of honey production increase in a way but then there was also these defensive traits that the african bees had where because in africa they have a lot more predators for the honeybees so they've developed over thousands of years tactics of honeybees to survive wow it's not that so it's not one of the thing is so it seems like a massive oversight it is yeah definitely warwick uh should have been should have been looking a little more into this so so they were doing that in 1956 increased honey production when they did that 26 swarms escaped the quarantine in 1957 so this is in brazil Two years later jailbreak <laughs> yeah jailbreak just yeah after they you know get all these things so since then the hybrid uh they spread through south america up up the uh what mesoamerica into mexico got it up into southern southern america you know in the uh, southern 
North America. Southern North America. <laughs> Southern North America, east of the Pacific Ocean, which is west of the Mississippi. <laughs> You're not going to learn anything. I'm just going to tell you right now. You're not <laughs> learning nothing right now. <laughs> so, but this was like big thing in like the 90s. Like in Texas, they were like, oh no, killer bees are coming, Africanized <laughs> bees. Um, that's what, that's kind of how it came up, you know, as, as far as the names go. Colloquially, as we know, DJ Edward Forty Hands colloquially means, you know, in common terms, killer bee is killer what they're bee. known. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, but why, the real question is, why weren't they called? brazilian killer, killer bees. bees why why did god bring africa into this you know oh, they were they were you know africa and why aren't they called european killer bees like african and european crossbreed they should have just been brazilian killer bees i think that was a publicity good publicity team by the bees <laughs> <laughs> to be like yeah this is africa's fault <laughs> but we're here now we're here, we're now. here to stay so so, like I was saying, it's not... Where did they get the moniker Killer Bee? Colloquial So, moniker. why are they dangerous, you ask? Yes. Inter That's a great question. Interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> so, Africanized honeybees are typically more defensive, like I was saying earlier, but they react to disturbances uh, more fully than European honeybees. So, European honeybees, like, if, say, you were going by their nest and yeah. you disturb it, maybe 10% of the nest will come out and you know try to try to sting you got it and you you walk run away like maybe you have one stuck on you but most of them are like okay the threat's gone go back to honey production they're busy they're busy bees, busy bees. <laughs> <laughs> now africanized bees killer bees on the other hand they full force they retaliation. go full out full out full they'll out. send the whole nest so <laughs> when one of them stings you they send off a pheromone and the other ones smell it and then more of them come and each sting sends off a pheromone so they just have more and more coming because of this like defense mechanism to protect their nest. I, just, could you imagine this in humans that if just somebody just like, I'm so mad. And then they just like excrement something, something just comes out of them. And then <laughs> everyone in the freaking room is just like, let's kill Ooh. something. <laughs> Nick just grabbed his pants. I'm going to fight that <laughs> yeah, guy yeah, too. Yeah, I, yeah. I believe those are called fraternities. <laughs> <laughs> I think those happen like that. So it's, it. it's not that um, Africanized honeybees are more dangerous solely because actually it's, it's it's in the group. It's, it's studied that, you know, they're less potent individually, like as far as like venom when they sting. That's also true of fraternities, right? Yeah, <laughs> very, very less potent individually. Um, yeah, but so it says like a thousand thousand stings can kill a uh, adult person that's a you know, lot though. that's a lot of stings but you know you think about like there's you know th tens of thousands of bees in a nest if it you know it's big enough yeah okay so they they you know they're taking down horses and cows and stuff so that's things were actually killed by these bees oh yes oh, over wow. a thousand have been killed by a thousand what people what and wow. this is i guess this is over the last you know, 70, years. Years. Yeah, 70 years do but, they build bigger nests than regular bees or, or, I mean, I guess how does that work? Because bees don't, they don't build the nests like wasps up in the paper, sh paper mache nests. They build so, yeah, it depends. Like trees and in crevasses. It depends on, you know, because some of them, yeah, some of them do exterior nests and then, yeah, but it is, you know, yeah. mostly they're going to find, oh, look at this hole here. That's it's easier. It. You save a lot of resources that way. <laughs> we just go in, kill the gopher that lives in there. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's ours now. Yeah. No, that's, and that's the thing is, they're they're very adaptable, okay. and but also more uh, acclimated to warmer climates, and they thrive in warmer climates. So that that was kind of the thinking of of Warwick was you know it's warm here in Brazil, we're gonna get these warm they're warm uh, substrate and they produce more in the warm climates, and you know this guy really bungled it. He really did. Did anybody ever go talk to him like after 1957? It was like, look, man. What did you do? You screwed the pooch here. You screwed the pooch. <laughs> what's your What's your comment? He probably did. A, he's like, yes, yes, <laughs> my creation. I done goofed it. <laughs> or he, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, offer a little bit more honey production. A little bit more honey, yeah. So it that's completely stupid. backfired. Because don't killer bees do they box out and are they a threat to regular bees? 
Like, do they take their resources? They it's, probably take it's their more, resources. It's more that the queen will come in, and then I think that then the queens fight, and then the queen will breed with the with the other workers. That, so you and convert then, over into and then African. A lot of conversion. Beehive. Yeah. Intermingling. Wow. Wow. That's not good because bees are the foundation of the ecosystem. That's true. That's facts right there. You can take that one to the bank. I didn't tell you that one because... I, I just told you you could take it to the bank, but I'm not sure on that. So is there is there a squad out there that's like trying to eliminate these killer bees? So you have, you know, people do are they are trying to control like the population. The bee squad. So yeah, the bee team. <laughs> <laughs> like, all- it didn't didn't work in the in the think room or whatever the, the think tank. The yeah, think tank. We had a little ro- workshop that magical yeah. workshop that. <laughs> So, yeah, they're trying to, you know, just with you know, normal honeybees or whatever, like they're trying to either overpopulate the area so that the Africanized queens can't come in and, you know, take over and then have the breeding. So they're trying to set, make sure all these, I guess, pamper these, yeah. uh, these nests so Got that it. they're cool. Like uh, you guys, you're not going to leave us, right? You know, <laughs> you're fine. And then, um, but some, uh, some, I forgot the word which is probably, this would be something that would be very helpful for your party knowledge. So the resisting colony collapse, but so some of these colonies, the workers will just abandon ship at some point. If a new queen comes in. Just at any point because of they're trying to overload these, uh, these colonies with like making sure the, the queens are set. So you get the con- colony collapse disorder, the CCD. Uh, it's a symptom uh, of the decline. Causes a majority of worker bees to permanently leave their home, leaving the queen, the young, and a few nurse bees. Oh, geez. so yeah, the workers are just like, "F this noise, we're out." Wow. And then you know the queen's gotta start with. Is this a killer bee queen? No, this is just regular normal bees. Okay, so okay, it's like bee gentrification. Yes. Just, Yikes! Yeah. <laughs> Insert newbie. Yeah. <laughs> nah, so, man, you old bees are out. Dude. We yeah. need new bees. So yeah, so the the, the bees are you know, they're trying to you know keep keep bees in check like but like keeping them where they're going to stay at a, at a level but sure. also at a level where they're not going to want to leave the nest got it and that's that's a common thing and then there's also uh the varro mite or varroa v-a-r-r-o-a mite that kills off honeybees yeah the thing is africanized honeybees they're more resistant to these mites because it's found that the africanized honeybees are uh they do. They spend more time grooming, uh. and so they're they're cleaning each other more. And I guess their bite kind of you know destroys the the mites, biting wow. the mite, biting the mite. And whereas you know other honeybees are, ugh, they're gross. I just picture a future, uh, fifty years from now, hundred years from now, where like our agricultural system in America is threatened just because of the demise of like the American honeybee, and our only option is to like fully commit to African honeybees. Yeah. And just like these killer bees are now our only hope, right? <laughs> but then like beekeepers just become badass like biker dudes <laughs> <laughs> because. They're angry all the time, but we got to keep them pop, you know, po- uh, doing the pollen stuff. So, like, it's necessary. And all of a sudden, beekeepers stop, you know, walking around like, well, I ha- I'm an apiary. You know, like, <laughs> I'm an apiary. And you're like, okay, now you got guys who are just like, all right, got to go out there. They ship their whiskey. All right. <laughs> their bee suits just don't have any sleeves. <laughs> yeah, they're just like sleep. tattoos. <laughs> Um, I could see that happen. Or they're like industrial bee suits. They're just like ridiculous. Do they have the 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 thorns with the heart and instead of mom it says queen? <laughs> yeah, queen. <laughs> Killer bee, bee team. That's a movie. Yeah. So kind of here to to wrap things up. So I think up here north Cleveland, it gets too cold. They they don't like the cold. Nice. So I think anything, you know, north of mid United States is probably safe. Cool. Um, we don't have to worry about that here on the, on the, on the good side. So the bees kind of made their way to Puerto Rico in 1994 (laughs) and there are no actual predators of the honeybees in uh, Puerto Rico. So in 2012, they found out that the bees are actually becoming more docile over generations of African ones. Yeah. The Africanized bees because of generations of not being attacked it's like they don't have yeah. that mechanism anymore. they're not freaked out anymore there's yeah. no anxiety they're, they're just like island, chilling. island chilling yeah. Yeah, they're they're like, <laughs> hey give me another my time <laughs> you know how they smoke bees to calm down yeah. it ain't smoke <laughs> <laughs> it's the good smoke it's the good smoke man they're just like 
Hey, man, man, you want some honey, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> exactly. So, I th- yeah, maybe we just need to... We just With That's the legalization of uh, the marijuana plant, you Dude, know, coming marijuana through. Marijuana and killer bees. What could That's, go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> that we go the opposite way. They're just lazy bees. Yeah, <laughs> they don't do shit. It's just <laughs> just enjoying life. <laughs> and then they're just talking uh, about friendship. <laughs> <laughs> so the only parties you got to talk about this in is anything south of Tennessee yeah. or in Puerto Rico. But if you're going to a party in Ohio, don't bring up the bees because they're just natural up here. They're you're going to be a bumbling idiot like me. <laughs> a bumbling bumblebee. <laughs> bumbling bumblebee. <laughs> No, it's it's. I think I think it's. I love that segment. I actually do really like bees, and I'm fascinated by it. If you ever watch just like bees like hustling around, yeah. it's mesmerizing. They are. They're they're crazy. Incredible animals. 